Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Brandon Lee here with Virtualization Now 2, and today we're talking about one of the fastest growing areas in home lab technology, and that is self-hosted AI. Not long ago, running artificial intelligence models meant needing massive data center infrastructure and big corporate budgets. But now, thanks to open source distilled models and GPU acceleration, it's easier than ever to run your own AI stack right in your home lab. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the best self-hosted AI tools that you can actually run yourself, what they do, how they fit together, and why 2025 might be the year of private AI for home lab enthusiasts. So stick around and let's dive right in. So why does self-hosted AI matter in the first place? Well, privacy is a big one. Every time you send data to a cloud-hosted AI tool, you're handing over control of that information and your chats to someone else. With self-hosted AI, you keep everything local to your home lab. Your conversations, your prompts, your files, they all stay on your own hardware under your own control. Now, beyond privacy, it's a great way to learn. Hosting your own models helps you understand how inference works, what GPU memory means for performance, and how models respond under load. You start to see what makes these tools tick. Plus, you can connect them together to your other self-hosted tools, like feeding Olama into NAN. And you can use those types of tools to automate workflows and create your own intelligent assistance. And honestly, it's just plain fun. I've been having a blast just playing around with some of these tools. A few years ago, running your own AI chat system would have sounded like science fiction. Now, it's a weekend project in your home lab. It's amazing how far we've come. So let's consider the first AI tool that you can run in the home lab that makes sense, and that is Olama. Olama is the engine that runs your large language models locally, and it's a lightweight tool. It's super easy to install, runs in a Docker container or an LXC container, and works great in that scenario. Olama manages and runs your models, and it allows you to interact with that API that it runs with things like Open Web UI, which we will talk about in just a moment. Now you can run models like GPT OSS, Gemma, Llama 3, Phi 3 and 4, Mistral, DeepSeek, and plenty of others out there. There's a huge catalog of models out on Hugging Face that you can explore and make use of. Olama creates a local API endpoint that other tools can talk to, which is where Open Web UI comes in. Olama supports things like GPU acceleration for both NVIDIA and AMD cards, but if you don't have a discrete GPU, it can also fall back to CPU inference. I like to think of Olama as the AI runtime for your home lab. You set it up once and then use it as the core engine for basically everything else that you want to connect up to it. And that gets us into the second tool worth mentioning, and that is Open Web UI. Open Web UI gives you the chat interface and it looks almost identical to ChatGPT and is basically a fork of ChatGPT code, but it's completely open source and doesn't lock you into any specific model or vendor. So essentially you can use the ChatGPT interface and run Gemma 3 or Microsoft's models or anything you want to do there. You can connect Open Web UI to Olama's API, pick which model you want to use, tweak parameters, and start chatting right inside your browser. Now, it also supports multiple models, image generation, prompt templates, chat history, and custom instructions. You can even download and manage models right from the Open Web UI admin interface. When you combine Open Web UI with a tool like Olama, you basically get a full self hosted chat GPT alternative. Keep in mind, this is an alternative that lives entirely inside your home lab, which is awesome. The next tool that's up on our list is N8N. If you've ever used automation tools like Make or other web utilities, N8N will feel very familiar. It's open source and it's an automation workflow tool that you can self-host completely. It allows you to build powerful automations that connect 
to your API models, such as Olama. Now, for example, you can create automations such as if you're running fresh RSS, you can pull those feeds into N8N. It will then connect to something like Olama. It will summarize those posts for you. And then you can create an automation to post that to your Mastodon account, just as an example. So you can use it for things like analyzing home lab logs or other troubleshooting that you want to do on an automated basis. I've got a workload running currently that looks at CICD pipeline runs that I've had in my history and it analyzes those that have failed and it will tell me why they failed or it will even try to kick off the CICD pipeline again for me all in an automated way. So that gives you an idea of just some of the really cool things that you can do with N8N. And the great thing about N8N is that it bridges the gap. It can connect to all of these open source tools that you may be running like Olama and even cloud-based utilities if you want that and it ties basically everything together in a meaningful way so you can make use of all of these automated AI tools for your home lab and any other use case that basically you can think of. Next on the list is a tool called Local AI. If you want something simpler than even the configuration we just mentioned with Olama paired with Open Web UI, then Local AI is perhaps that solution. It combines both the model management as well as the web interface into a single container. Now, the really cool thing is that we're not actually getting away from Olama. It actually uses Olama under the hood, but it packages everything together for a quick deployment. So you don't have to manage both aspects of that manually. You can run local AI with just a single Docker command. It supports both CPU and GPU acceleration. It handles text generation and image models and works with the familiar hugging face and other model sources. And it's an excellent choice for anyone who wants to run local AI without having once again to stitch or piece those multiple tools together. Now, the next tool on the list is a tool known as Anything LLM. Now, Anything LLM is a tool from a company known as Mintplex Labs. And this is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you a chat interface, document interaction, and something known as Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. And anytime you read about AI and AI technologies, you're going to see that acronym reference. So unlike the other tools that run in Docker, anything LLM is a client install for your workstation. So it's very much akin to something like an LM Studio. Now, this can be a pro or con depending on your setup and what you really like to work with. The cool part is that it also allows you to upload PDFs, markdown files, and even sync with a GitHub repository. And it can take that and index your data, let AI reference it locally, and you can literally chat with it based on your own documentation or your own code repository. So it also integrates with Olama as well as OpenAI and has webhook support for automations and includes user access controls. And one of the other really neat things that I read about anything LLM is that as of version 1.7.2, it supports NPUs on Snapdragon X elite powered laptops from Microsoft. And that according to their documentation, gives you around a 30% boost. The reason that caught my attention is uh, I've seen all of this market texture over the past couple of years about NPUs. You see this marketed from new mini PCs to other devices that tout having an NPU. However, much of the NPUs just sit there unutilized. So we really haven't seen the software that's able to take advantage of this. So it's really cool to see anything LLM out of the ones in the list able to, in a viable way, make use of the NPU. So way to go anything LLM. Do check that one out. Next on the list are a pair of tools known as Whisper and Whisper X. If you're interested in speech to text, OpenAI's Whisper is an incredibly accurate transcription model that you can run locally. And it's great for converting audio into text, whether it's podcasts, YouTube videos, or your own recorded meetings. Now, Whisper X is a project that takes it a step further and Whisper X actually has better GPU acceleration, automatic alignment for timestamps, and other features. 
features. Both can be containerized and automated. For example, you could stitch together N8N with Whisper or Whisper X to monitor a folder for new audio files and automatically run them through Whisper X for transcription. You could summarize the text using a llama and then you could send it all to your dashboard or email. So that's the power of connecting these self-hosted AI tools together. And Definitely cool tools to check out Whisper and Whisper X. Now, next on the list is Stable Diffusion Web UI. If you're more into image generation, Stable Diffusion is the de facto standard. And this Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1111, the developer, uh, this setup gives you an easy to use web interface for generating images locally. And you can generate things, anything from a thumbnail to artwork to textures for 3D projects you name it. You can run it on a workstation uh, inside a Docker container with GPU acceleration, however you would like to do that. And it supports features like ControlNet, LoRa, fine tuning, and image upscaling. So you can even use it as part of your content workflows. For example, if you're generating blog post images automatically for blog posts that you want to post, you can have this actually create the images for you. Very, very cool. Next up is a tool called Private GPT. Private GPT is another privacy focused option that lets you chat with your own documents completely offline, so it can be disconnected. It combines a llama or local AI with a vector database to perform retrieval augmented generation. There's the RAG acronym. And essentially, you can feed it documents and ask it questions without ever sending data to the cloud. Now, it runs easily in Docker and it integrates seamlessly with a llama as the backend. So it's perfect for anyone who wants a self-hosted chatbot for their documentation. And that kind of seems to be its really strong use case there. Now, next up is a tool called LibraChat. LibraChat is another tool that gives you a customizable web UI for AI interactions, and it's another tool that's forked from the official ChatGPT interface. But what makes it really neat is that you can connect it to any kind of backend that you want. You can connect it to a local AI model uh, using something like Olama, or you can use cloud models, OpenAI, Google, or others, all without vendor lock-in. So LibraChat supports multiple models, plugins, custom prompts, and chat memory. So you can use it as a shared AI workspace for your household, uh, as an example, where everyone can access AI and you can uh, enforce controls over the chats and other types of things there. So definitely some really cool functionality and features. Now, finally, another notable mention is a tool called Comfy UI. Now, Comfy UI is a graphical user interface for stable diffusion. We mentioned that earlier. That's become very popular among uh, creators running local AI setups. It uses a node-based workflow it allows you to visually connect and customize every part of your image generation process uh, from prompt input to model selection, conditioning, output. Uh, this makes it perfect, I think, for home lab users who want control over image pipelines uh, without having to dig too deeply into writing your own code, for instance. You can uh, drag and drop nodes to experiment with different models, apply advanced filters, chain them together, add multiple steps, do things like upscaling. So it's one of the most flexible and performance focused ways that you can interact with stable diffusion locally. Now, let's put all of these things together. I know we've really covered a lot of ground on tools and uh, various options out there. So how do all these tools fit together in your home lab? I like to think of it like this. Olama is kind of the central model engine. And once you have Olama running, uh, many of these other tools will plug in and just start working with Olama. Uh, for instance, Open Web UI is a interface that interacts with it. N8N handles automations and workflows, can make use of Olama. Whisper transcribes audio. Stable Diffusion uh, with the Stable Diffusion Web UI generates images. Private GPT or anything LLM can query your own data. Something like LibraChat offers another way to access anything from a unified interface and then you can run all of this on a Proxmox node or inside a Docker Swarm cluster or even a single mini PC. The real benefit for you is control. You decide what data gets processed, how it's stored, and what models you trust. Well, there has definitely never been a better time to build your own AI stack at home. Between Olama, 
Open Web UI, N8N, and all of these other tools that we've talked about and many others that we simply didn't even have a chance to discuss in this video, it's now possible to run a complete AI ecosystem locally, no cloud required. Again, really amazing how far things have come. Now, if you want to see walkthroughs and setup guides for these tools, make sure to check out the related posts that I've been posting create a lot of blog content on virtualization how-to, walkthroughs and detailed guides. And if you're already experimenting with self-hosted AI, I'd love to hear what tools you're running in your lab. Is there an awesome tool that we simply have missed in this roundup of tools? Let me know in the comments. Well, thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Do stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you in the next video.